warm welcome to Joburg today, where we bring you the 4 on 1 on what's hip and happening on your local streets of Josie. I'm your host, Riley Saganifosakwe. It's not even 2016 yet, but some people are already setting the bar quite high to be considered as the sexiest that Mzansi has to offer for 2016. Since 2008, the Sowetan has been running a campaign to find Mzansi's sexiest, nominated and voted by you, the readers, to celebrate beauty. It's basically to celebrate beauty, to celebrate good health, you know, to celebrate people who look good, people who make an effort in looking good, people who go to gym, you know, and, and, and kind of encourage people to have a healthier lifestyle. Well, for me, I think sexy um, is just being confident. It's about like you feeling yourself. I mean, being sexy doesn't mean that you have to be skinny. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that you have to have big boobs or big ass or whatever. If you feel confident about yourself, if you feel sexy, you are sexy. I guess it's, it's looking good, feeling uh, feeling uh, confident whenever you leave the house, you know, knowing that you know people are looking at you, then, then you know that you're walking with your head up and you're feeling sexy. Yeah. I think a definition of sexy is definitely just feeling confident in whatever size you are, no matter if you're not skinny or if you're thick, as long as you just love how you look and you dress well. And on who the celebs find sexy, this is what they had to say. I think Brenda Fassi was, sorry not to ask you, answer your question, but <laughs> <laughs> if you're not Brenda Fassi, you, yeah, you can be a, a sexy like Brenda Fassi. Dr. Michael Moore. Bam! That, that man is absolutely hot. That man is absolutely hot. And I also say Shaka Zulu was actually quite hot as well. The guy who played Shaka Zulu, he was actually quite hot as well. You know, dark chocolate, the whole thing. Well, whether you play for Team Thick, Team Skinny, Team Badoink, or whatever you choose to be delicious, I would say there's one common thread that runs throughout all of this is that you absolutely have to be packing confidence so that you too can be considered sexy. Well, I guess I'm not lacking in the confidence department, so holla at a brother, y'all. <laughs> I'm Riley Sagani Posakwe with Joburg today. Hello everyone, my name is Kanyam Kangisa and you are watching Joburg Today. We love hearing from you, so do yourself that favor and hit the like button on Facebook. That's joburgtoday.tv. Follow us on Twitter at Joburg Today. And if you're one of those people who are constantly on the move, then you can catch us on pockettv.mobi. That's pocket with an I. David Tale is one of Africa's top fashion designers, best known for bringing a touch of drama to his designs. It was all about um, launching David Tale at Luminance and uh, celebrating the beauty that is made in South Africa. Uh, to say to people, you can find luxury that is made in South Africa. And also to say we are bringing our spring summer collection from New York back home and uh, not just showcasing, but we want people to buy it. It's going to be a long-standing journey with Luminance and David Klale and I, I look forward to seeing more South African brands coming into Luminance uh, because we have to showcase to the world that we have it going. The inspiration of the, of the, of the collection is purely uh, based on uh, feminine allure, whereby we're celebrating the power of a woman. And uh, when she walks into a boardroom, she'll be rocking a David Lale blouse and an African print to say, we know who we are and we can be chic in our African prints. Every stone that you saw on the garment is put by hand. We've been trying to get David Lale for a while and to actually have him in stock, uh, all these creations, the beautiful creations that you saw, it's very exciting. It's local talent that has gone global, so Luminance had to have it in the shop. I'm actually proud to be associated with someone talented like David Lale. I love the blend of local with international. I love to have a David Lale sitting next to an Oscar de la Rente. Black and gold was the order of the day here at Hyde Park Luminance where David Lally was showcasing his collection. Even though we were not dressed according to the theme, 
Hey, it's all about fashion, not us. I'm Mpoma Shekho for Jovek Today. I'm Jenna Dover and you're watching Joburg Today. The Red Door Experience pop-up store in Santon has a lot more than just makeup. Mpo went to see what they had to offer. Elizabeth Arden's Red Door Experience was held in Santon City to showcase the importance of taking care of your skin and using the right products. As part of the experience, event goers were pampered from head to toe from individual skin care and makeup consultations to makeup workshops on getting the right day and night look. We want to educate our consumers out there how to take care of their skin, how to look beautiful, uh, not just makeup, but actually have healthy, beautiful skin. Now that it's summertime, people are exposed to the sun outdoors, and how they can kind of protect their skin while they're looking their best. That's why we wanted to do this Red Door experience. So normally, um, your main steps is cleansing. Obviously, when you cleanse, you remove dirt, impurities. Ladies, we wear makeup, so we want to remove that in our cleansers or deep cleansing. With one wash, you can remove your makeup and refresh your skin then that prepares it for your toner and your toner will remove any excess residue be it excess cleanser or any makeup that maybe your cleanser did not remove and then your third and I believe your most important step is your serum because your serum that's where your treatment comes in so for example if you're targeting uneven skin tone your serum is what's actually going to treat that even skin uneven skin tone rather and then you follow up with your moisturizer with SPF in the day and in the nighttime with a night cream because your night cream works separately or differently rather to your day cream what that does that it helps your skin to repair while you're sleeping in the nighttime. So those are the four main steps that are important. Ultraviolet rays are real, summer, winter, doesn't matter what season it is. And also a lot of people have the perception that if you're not outside, you don't need sun protection. But UV rays are strong enough to be able to come indoors also and do some uh, damage on our skin. So it should be throughout, whether you work indoors, outdoors, winter, summer, sun protection, is your best friend. The Red Door experience is where social and beauty encounter go hand in hand and we had the opportunity to learn more about our skin and there is no excuse nowadays ladies and gentlemen. We all know how to take care of our skins now during all season long. So let me go and make sure that my look is finalized so that I can look all daring during the summer season. I'm Poma Shekho for Joburg today. Hi, I'm Jade Hubner, and you're watching Joburg Today. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. But be sure to check out our playlist as well as leading opinion with our host, Noshina Muhammad. That's it from me, Riley. I leave you with the Joburg version of Happy. Enjoy. Enjoy.